someone's feeling defeated. Someone was let down or let go. Okay, so they're in a defeated space. We have the Three of Wands. With this Three of Wands, it's like they were waiting. They were waiting for some sort of information. They were waiting on someone to maybe tell them yes to something it feels like. But they were told no. The Knight of Cups. The King of Swords. They were hoping to receive an offer or they were hoping for you to they were hoping for you to accept an offer maybe but again so this is like the refusal of an offer someone offered someone some sort of whatever and it was turned down or it was canceled this is like someone planned a date but it was canceled someone didn't show up or Ace of Wands. Damn. This is like a dick appointment or someone turned down a dick appointment. Someone was offered a date, but they turned it down. Or if they didn't turn it down, someone did not show up. So did someone pull up to the spot? And it's kind of like they were waiting. They were waiting on the person to show up and they didn't. Seven of Cups, the Emperor, the Devil, Six of Cups, the Tower. So this is some sort of breakup. Okay, so this is the energy of, this could have been a past person, right? And that you were dating. They wanted to get back together, or at least they wanted to maybe have the discussion, right? They wanted to meet with you. So it may not have necessarily been a dick appointment. For some of you, it could have been, right? Or that's, that's what their intentions were. So this is an ex that wanted to meet with you. They may have said to you that this was about the potential of the relationship being mended. But the reality was this person from the past wanted a chance to come back in to have sex with you, but they didn't necessarily want the relationship or even if they did, it's because they've been missing that. They've been wanting that. This is someone, they're very aggressive in nature. This person could actually be addicted, right? Like addicted to your sexual energy, your... Even your emotional energy, right? Let's say you're someone you nurture them or again, the sex is really good or if y'all have never even had sex together, just the energy that you maybe give off or again, this is how this person is seeing you because they're seeing you through their own clouded addiction, right? So if this is someone who's addicted to sex, if this is someone who's addicted to attractiveness some people are just addicted to people that look good if this is an addiction to maybe even drinking right or partying whatever the habits are if they're addicted to smoking whatever it is and then they see that in you it attracts them more to you because whatever your habits may be even if you're not addicted to it just the fact that you're within the energy or maybe you are right but the point is, that's what they're attracted to. That's what they want. That's what they miss. Either that's what they miss 
and if they've never had you that's what they want like if this was some sort of potential for a relationship and it just didn't kick off that's because this was the energy that this person was really within and so spirit guided you away from this person if this was a past relationship and you have already been with this person they were wanting to come back in because this is what they were missing and they're having like withdrawal symptoms okay because they're addicted to that they're addicted to your energy in that way so they're they were wanting you to come in this was some sort of offer yeah and then okay so let's see because i said somebody stood someone up someone didn't show up something was canceled this person could have even canceled on you this is the shits about it right you may not have canceled on this person they came in with an offer you may have believed that it was sincere they may have came in with an offer in like a king of swords type of energy very um you know straightforward up front uh even affectionate right because the king of swords he's honest about his emotions but this was a lie this is what was fueling that king of swords this devil energy the offer was really about wanting to connect to you sexually. They wanted you to come in, right? But they didn't want you to see what it really was about. They confused your emotions. This is someone who possibly even, they love bomb. That's a form of their magic, love bombing. This person is very attractive. They have a lot of charm, um, a sparkle in their eye, right? So they can pull you in just through their eyes, maybe. So, yeah, they wanted you to be close enough to fall for their, their wily charms is what I'm hearing right so again you may not even have been the one that canceled they may have canceled because again remember this person has an addiction and if this is truly a person of the past or if this is even a new person it doesn't matter if they have addiction they have sources right they have resources around them so this could have been like they had options elsewhere ace of cups so if they didn't sleep with you they slept with someone else right this page of wands it could have been a situation where they were dealing with themselves i don't know but let's see Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords. What are they heartbroken over? The Hangman. Okay, so now the narrative is shifting. This person may have dissed you, right? So listen to this. This person tried to come towards you for a connection. They sold it to you as if it was maybe a relationship that was a lie they really just wanted to come in because they wanted to have sex they're attracted to you they're attracted to sexual energy they have a lot of sexual energy they wanted to create that energy with you didn't work either you canceled on them and now it's looking like you canceled even if they pulled back because they had other people they were dealing with when you realized this you were out so now what happened was this person who was trying to come towards you they were dealing with someone else they were dealing with someone else they're already in some sort of toxic situation with someone 
this person found out that they were trying to come towards you they it's almost like they sensed it even if they didn't see this happening even if they don't know that it was you literally or whatever the case may be they knew their person was up to something because they already know the nature of the beast so they tried to go back to that person but what i'm feeling here is that maybe this is only this night because these kind of situations they're always on and off with one another so here we go this is some sort of karmic toxic cycle that this person who tried to come towards you is in okay mm -mm. i'm having to clear so if the video has been pausing that's why this person was is connected not was is is connected to someone else could be in a marriage could just be in a really toxic situation and i mean really toxic sex drugs alcohol abuse cheating money problems this this has the works this has the works so this was some sort of creature that got loose from their cage to come towards you. That didn't work out for them because you could see the energy. You could feel it. You could sense it, right? You're spiritually protected. See, they don't be knowing who you are. That's what it really be. So they come towards you. They already had a person. This person found out that they were messing around, right? Because again, they're toxic together. So they know when their person is somewhere else not being toxic with them. So they got pissed off and they didn't want to sleep with this person. Maybe they ran off to whoever they have because this person, both of these, whoever's in this connection, they both have other people that they sleep with. So when one of the partners found out that this person was trying to get with you that partner decided you know what i'm going to go do my own thing so they went their way and got with their person but the person that tried to come towards you wasn't able to get you so whatever night this was whatever weekend right whatever day of the week this fell on this person had to to, to deal with themselves, right? The heartbroken, the hangman, the, the ace of cups and the page of wands. With this ace of wands, they had to get themselves off because they lost out on you. Plus their person went another direction. But guess what? This person will still end up with the same person who went their other direction because this is their cycle. But you're not in it. And again, if this is an ex that tried to get back with you, you already know. You've already been through it with this person. That's why it's like you're fine with them being with whoever they're with. You're, you're, you prefer it. Because you, you're not attracted to that type of shit. And the person that they're with is. This is a match. This is the true twin flame here. All right, what else? Someone's feeling defensive, right? Almost like you're cracking their code. But this is the thing. This is an energy coming from someone that they try to do this to you. But now you're doing it to them. And they're feeling defensive. Like, oh, don't, don't look into my Akashic records. 
This ain't even your Akashic Records that I'm tapping into. This is just out in the open. You don't even got to dig for this information. This is just... This like... This in your resume. Look. Got the nerve to feel mentally wounded. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> Judgment I'm seeing. Too many. Oh, look at that. It came out. Look at that. They're defensive. Because you're right. So here's the thing. These are persons. Whose wife is this? Oh, that's them. <sighs> Someone is in and out of jail. This could be mentally. This could be physically. And for some reason, even the Six of Wands, somehow this narrative adds to their quality of life. But this is a lot of barred energy. That's why I'm saying like, even if it's not physical, it's still mental. It's like, there's no peace here. There's no peace in your mind. There's no peace in your heart. There's no peace in your home. There's nothing victorious about this. This is false energy. This is falsehood. That's what this is. This is falsehood. For the Six of Wands to be sitting here next to the Seven of Wands, Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands. I'm seeing a crib. These are persons who have responsibilities in their life. And they're adding up right like the responsibilities are beginning to compound upon one another and there's no one in each of these cards but them right except for the victorious card which is what somehow they feel because people are looking at them like yeah you're doing it but this is a lot of hidden stuff this is like layers of hidden Again, what entities, energies, and this right here, this stuff has to do with sexuality as well, okay, and feeling wounded about that. A bandage, a bandage, a bandage, yet again, six of wands, that's a lie. It's a lie. That's why this person is defensive. They're like, yeah, I'm victorious. Don't you dare look at anything else. And this is what the anything else is. And there's nothing to even protect. That's the next thing about these images. This person is all like he ready to, to, you know, jab somebody. Nothing is behind him but the blue sky, baby. They're in a tree. There ain't even really that much water there. There's nothing to defend in this space. So this is like someone looking in a mirror. And one in the fight with themselves. They're sitting here like they got something to protect. You're sitting on a, a slab of concrete. There, there's nothing behind you but that water and the rocks. Ain't a scene to be seen. Nothing. A backwards moon. 
So this is like not being able to see things clearly, seeing things from a distorted perspective. Also, it's like being blinded. I'm hearing, you know, night blindness. This ace of ace, please. This eight of swords. Look, whatever water was there behind you and the two of swords is dried up. But now there's swords in its place. Oh, were those swords always there within these two of cups? But we two of swords, but we couldn't see it because some water was still there. But the water is being drained. That's why the rocks are starting to appear. This is someone allowing their life force energy just to be drained out of them. Or, or I should say, there's nothing behind him. What is this? There's nothing here. So all you do, this is like someone who all they do is drink, smoke, and fuck. That's it. That's what the connections are about. It's nothing of uh, but an entanglement of weed, alcohol, and sex. And honestly, the money ain't even that important. I ain't even getting money on the table. Do we have any pentacles? There's not one. There is not one pentacle. Oh God, the queen of pentacles is <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. And when I saw her, I said, whose wife is this? So, okay. Then I said this. All right. So let's say this to couple. There's no pentacles on this table. So the money ain't even that important to them. Just the talk of it, right? The idea of it. But it's not really there. These people, I don't know what this is. This is like someone trying to waste somebody to, I don't know what the hell this is. There's nothing going on in this reading. This is a waste of time. It, and it's almost like. As I sit here and, and I'm trying to think more on it, there's nothing more to think about. This is it. This is this is the entirety of it. Okay. Let's see if we got something else because I don't know. So that was that. Can we close this out? Yeah, let's close this out. This ain't nothing there. The Queen of Pentacles, she flipped back, showed herself. So, yeah, I don't know. But that.